I'm taking you out. I'm not taking your kids out. So I'm not nah, out. no, that's not how so it works. I, so if you with me, you with my listen. kids. So when you're dating me, you're dating my kids. I didn't ask you for no shoes. I asked you for the money for the shoes. Uh, no, 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 no. I got the shoes that they want. I already paid for them. What's the issue with me getting the shoes? I got the shoes. I'm not a person that particularly likes to date people with kids. Yes, I have kids, but I don't have that that dynamic. But I understand, but that's not fair. It right? is. If you think that man is supposed to do that for you. I cannot imagine having more than one child and being a single mother. I cannot fathom that. Hey guys, welcome back to Gets It Out. Now today, we have a video from Modern Dating here. This video is titled, She Demanded Her Date to Buy Food for Her Kids, and this happened. Let's get right into it. Shit, yeah, what's up? Nothing much. How you doing? I'm good, what about you? Oh man, I'm just chilling, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry, but I got the shoes that the, uh, the kids want. I, I didn't. I didn't ask you for no shoes. I asked you for the money for the shoes. Uh, no, 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 no. I got the shoes that they wanted. I already paid for them. I, I know them. that, but I asked you for the money. I didn't want you to get the shoes. I would have got the shoes myself. What's the, Michelle, what's the problem? Because wow. I wanted to get the shoes. Why I, did you want to get them? Why? Because I wasn't gonna get the shoes right now. I was just gonna get the money and get the oh, shoes no, later. Oh, she wanted the money. Figures. Give me the money. Give me my money. That's famous for a reason. Actually, that came from New York, but. That's what she said. Give me my money. You can't be sure. You trying to look like the MVP or something? No, I just need, I was going to get the money right now and spend it on something she's, else. And then when thirsty. I get the money for the shoes down the line, I was going to get no, the shoes. No, you need to take them over to the house and give them to the kids there? No. So, man, what's the issue with me getting the shoes? I got the shoes. I understand you that. You be hollering about I don't do shit. I want the money for the shoes, dude. I'm not giving you no money. Go get those kids those brand new shoes. No, I'm not doing that. I got Good the man. shoes and I got the receipt if they need to take them back. Well, I know they size anyway. So what you want the money for? Because I was going to use the money for something else. And then I was going to get the shoes laid on down the line. Yeah, you see this? She, she, you see this? Oh, you got your little... Oh! Why are you worried about that? I'm just saying. And she ain't speak, hey? Hey, hey, don't, don't do all that. This ain't oh, that shit. Don't do Whatever. all that, man. Whatever. Uh, you, you want the shoes or not? Just give me shoes, man. Just the receipt in the bag? No, I ain't the receipt in the bag, no. But Why was she interested in the receipt? Wow. She definitely was planning to take the shoes back and of get the course. money. But he was smarter. He kept it. You said I can get the receipt and take them back. Do you want the goddamn shoes or not? Just give me shoes, man. God damn. Take... Whatever, man. Next time, just do what I told you to do. Just bring the money. Whatever. Those kids would have never got those shoes if she got that money. Mm -hmm. Kids were never getting the shoes. You did good. He did the right thing. Don't give her no receipt. Girl, get your own money. No free money there. Wow. Good job, sir. She wants to get them lashes and nails done, not today. I'm so glad my daughter is grown. This really happens. She was going to use the money and turn around and ask you for more money. She should have been honest from the beginning. The money was clearly for something else, which is why she insisted on receiving cash instead of the shoes. Sad. Honesty is a key part of any relationship, even after a divorce or separation. It would have been much better if she had openly said she needed the money for something else rather than making up a story about needing shoes mm -hmm. for the kids. Most men don't mind spending on their children, but situations like this are why some fathers become hesitant when their exes ask for money. She probably wouldn't have bought the shoes if she had gotten the money. This is often the case when a woman, even after divorce, still expects her ex-husband to support her lifestyle. It's not about the kids, it's about maintaining her own spending. The fact that she asked for the receipt shows her intention to return the shoes and get the money back. The shoes were simply an excuse she used to get some cash from their father. And you see how she was thirsty while doing it? And you already can tell from the way he is with his new wife, she made a lot of foul financial decisions that probably could have led to their demise. That's why he did that. She could consider finding a job or other means of supporting herself, mm -hmm. especially if she doesn't already have one. Using this strategy only creates tension and distrust. It's far better to be straightforward and open about financial needs rather than creating this type of situation. She went on a date with him and thought it was his responsibility to feed her children and it backfired. 
She was surprised by his reaction. She believes when going on a date with a single mother, a man should know that he is also on a date with her children. So they also should get something to eat. No. But he clearly didn't agree with it. Really? I'm just gonna get two. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the lady. I'm just gonna get two plates. Matter. I'm not about to order no, for no kids. That's I'm not, not I'm right. Not, what do you mean? I'm taking you out. You. I'm taking you out. I'm not taking your kids out. So I'm not ordering. Nah, nah, no, that's not how so it works. I, so if you with me, you're my listen, kids. It doesn't so work I, like so that. Can excuse I get, me. Uh, can I get? Uh, excuse I, me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna order you no, out. What? You, you, you want to fuss? You want to fuss? Nah, ain't nobody trying to fuss. All I'm saying is you're gonna order my kids. You have to order two. I didn't feed them because I knew we were coming to get Just don't get food, bro. And you should get them something to eat, too, if you're going to feed me. See, he should just not get food and leave. I'll go drop her off. Clearly. Right there, she's doing all of that, causing a scene. Leave, bro. Because there's going to be more headaches with this woman. Leave, drop her off, and dead it right there. Guys have to be so concrete and so strict like that. Or this will keep happening. No, like with, with no um. Excuse me, with, so with you're no, really not hearing listen, me right I'm, now. See that? Ordering food because you and I are not no, ordering for the this, kids. No, I'm not dating your kids. I'm dating. You. You're I'm dating, dating me exactly. So when you're dating me, you're dating. See, he needs to drop her off. If he right then, right then and there, if he takes her, okay. Don't say nothing. Stop. I'm, I'm not gonna order food anymore. Quiet. Be quiet. Drop her off. Not saying nothing. The whole ride. She gonna be like. Shock, drop her off, and don't call her for a long time, maybe a month, or probably don't talk to her anymore. She will be shocked, and women will start changing if men start doing that. My kids, what what sense does that make? You're not dating my kids. You you're dating, dating me, exactly. So when you're dating me, you're dating my kids. What what sense does that make? You're not dating my kids. I don't know where she got this rule from. I didn't know people expected strangers to feed their children just because they decided to go on a date with them. I'm not I'm not dating your kids. So so so, so whenever we go on a date, I gotta buy your kids something. Not, hear this. This hey no, hey no matter of fact, we ain't getting nothing. What? I'm driving off. What? No, what do you mean we're not getting nothing? That's not you true. Seriously, dude. Why wouldn't you feed your kids? Why? You were at a fast food drive thru so it couldn't be that expensive. Just totally disrespectful. I would get out, walk home, and block him immediately. I have never gone on a date expecting the man to buy for my kids. Date means we getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. No obligation for anything whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now if we are dating for a long period of time, and we go to pick up food, then usually it's for the whole family. Yeah. That's her feeling like guys are obligated to handle her responsibilities. She should have fed her kids and made sure they were taken care of before she went out on a date. That last comment was right because it'd be something different. He's living with her for a while. He's living with the kids. Of course, she's going to bring some fast food home. Why would he not? But right now, because you don't want to spend money out of your pocket. But if you if you would have said, hey, I'll pay for it. He probably would have said, oh, sure. And I put that on that guy. Not in the beginning, but as mm -hmm. the relationship progresses. Why would she go on a date and expect him to provide for the whole family? Her children should be fed before she leaves the house because it's not her date's responsibility to take care of them. Her sense of entitlement is quite high, as she believes that since he's taking her out, it became his duty to feed her children. But he isn't responsible for them, no matter how much she makes it seem like he is. What's surprising is that some women didn't like his reaction. They commented that they believed he should have paid for her children, even though she was demanding it. But the truth is, he doesn't owe her or her kids a meal. They are just getting to know each other. He came to enjoy their time out, not to step into a parental mm -hmm. role. Her reaction might be understandable if they had been dating for a long time, but this wasn't the case. Most men wouldn't mind buying something for the kids, but the way she approached the situation was completely wrong. She came off as demanding, which isn't the right way to handle this. There are more polite ways of making such a request. In this case, it wasn't about the money, it was about her attitude. If she had a better approach to it, the result might have been different. In the next video, we have a single mother who prefers to date a man who doesn't have kids. I think there is nothing wrong with it as it's her preference, but it became interesting when she didn't like the fact that some men 
also prefer a woman without kids. Of course. It's confusing. <laughs> it seems like she has some issues with her own preference. So I'm I'm not a person that particularly likes to date people with kids mm -hmm. anyway. So mm -hmm. issues. Fair. It's very fair. It, so people always say, say that to me, like, that's not fair that's because not fair. you have no, kids, no, right? No, but the way I counter that is, yes, I have kids, but I don't have that that dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but I understand, but that's not fair. Dude. It is. You can't just ask somebody I'm out. telling you, I don't want to deal with you because of the drama. One thing I will never understand is a single mother who says she refuses to date a man with kids. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that even make sense? <laughs> Y'all come up with every reason in the world. Better baby mama drama. Don't want to be playing stepmommy. This, that, and the third. You didn't bring those kids into this world. You're not responsible for them. But in the same breath, you think that man is supposed to do that for you. And then if he doesn't want to do those things, if he doesn't want to accept you for the fact that you have children by multiple different men, he's not a real man. The guys that they don't want to date women with kids. With kids yeah. Because yeah. they feel like, you know, reason? well, I'm saying, but they feel like what is, what, why should. Guys don't want to date women with kids because this is not the 90s or the 80s when that was acceptable. When women reciprocated energy for guys doing that. I say that because my mother got with my father, who became my dad at one years old and was there until the day I died because she was a good woman. They stayed with each other for 40 years. I said, I said day I died, day he died. Uh, invest into that situation yeah. when it's not. My, my child, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. I understand what you're saying. That's you're saying drama. Well, <laughs> let me let me pick it down. Yeah, tell that's him, not tell a man. break it down for me. So, I'm I'm not a person that particularly likes to date people with kids, mm -hmm. anyway. So, yeah. I understand what you're saying. You're saying drama. Well, let me let me pick it down. <laughs> yeah, tell that's him, not tell a him, man. Tell him, break it down for me. She is complaining about her own preference, and I bet she is not aware of it. Why is she uncomfortable with their preference when she has the same? Excuse me, but if we were to flip flop the genders and use your logic against you, wouldn't you not be considered a real woman? You're doing too much, asking for too much. You're unqualified. You're asking for something you can't even give yourself. Mm. Can we please stop with the double standards because it's getting ridiculous out here. Can't make this up. As a single father, I've had this said to me, and the crazy part is she had multiple children with different dudes. She wants him to make her kids his world. And if he comes with his own, she feels like he won't. Where is common sure. sense? Because she doesn't want him spending money on other kids, only hers. My brain is not having this. Everyone is entitled to their own preference. So when this woman says she doesn't want to date men with kids, that's completely fine. It's her choice, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it became interesting when she felt uncomfortable with the yeah. fact that some <laughs> men also have the same preference. I didn't understand her thought process because she was complaining about herself. She doesn't see anything wrong with her own decision to avoid the drama of catering to someone else's kids, but she finds it improper when a man says the same thing about her situation. She expects a man to step in and take on the responsibilities of her family, but she's not willing to do the same if the roles are reversed. I think it's all about gathering more resources for her family. She doesn't want to share it with anyone else. She wants to tell the world about her experience being a single mother. She wants to talk about the part people don't see on social media. As many of you guys know, I'm a single mom and I have been for a couple years now. Okay. Zero out of 10 recommend. And I know I post about my life and it may look a certain way, but what you don't see is me crying every single week or once every couple weeks because I'm so overwhelmed because being a single mom is a, and i only have one i cannot imagine having more than one child and being a single mother i cannot fathom that because it's just so much on one person when you have your own things to take care of you also have your child to take care of you have a roof over your head you have to keep everything in order and sometimes i just truly feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders and it's making me emotional thinking about it because it will get to the point that i literally feel like i'm suffocating and i feel like a terrible friend sometimes because people will reach out to me or i can't get back to all the comments in my comment section and everything like that because sometimes i literally feel so suffocated like i could throw up thinking about it and sometimes i don't want to talk sometimes i just want to be left alone because i feel like i've been pulled 
in every single direction possible and I'm still drowning, if that makes sense. That's what being a single mom really feels like. It's not what is glamorized on social media. Hopefully she said it loud enough for those sitting at the back. <laughs> Some people thought they could do it perfectly, only to find a different reality once they decided to follow that path. I think baby daddy, baby mom. Yeah, she got in it and realized, ah, oh, it's hard. It, it is hard. Having a kid is hard for anyone. Culture is probably one of the worst possible things that could have ever been pushed onto culture and normalized. And that might be a bold statement, but I'm going to stand by it because I think it's, like I said, one of the worst things to be normalized in today's society. I don't think anybody wants to be in this position. And even as much as some people try to glamorize being a single mom, it's not fun. Let's it's so hard, but not many see it. You put it into words so perfectly. I love the transparency. I felt every word. It's crazy because some days are so friggin' amazing, and then at night the tears start. I needed this. I'm new at this single mom thing of two, trying to get our routine, and you took the words right out of my mouth. Thank you. I needed to hear this. Only a few weeks as a single mom, but I'm so exhausted. Felt this on so many levels. Catering for her child feels exhausting because it's not meant to be handled by just one person. It's a two-person job and a shared responsibility. Many people who claim it's easy aren't being fully honest. Often they present a life on social media that doesn't match their reality. They do this to meet certain social media standards, creating a facade that everything is perfect. I actually commend her for being brave enough to speak openly about this topic because many people wouldn't be as honest. Instead, they often paint an overly positive picture, which can lead others to make hasty decisions. Some might see these idealized portrayals on social media and think they should file for divorce at the slightest problem in their marriage, believing that being single would be better. But this can turn out to oh, be an boy, ironic boy. and harsh reality. By sure the time they good. realize that being single isn't as perfect as it seemed, it may That's like those women that divorce their husband of like, 30 years or 20 some odd years and he moves on so easy without me how did you do it and you see video after video of that and i go why are there so many of these videos why do women keep making this mistake be too late to go back as the ex-partner may have moved on with their life mm -hmm. i encourage women to try to work through issues within their marriage if possible rather than making quick decisions based on unrealistic portrayals online. Working things out within the marriage can sometimes be a more viable option than the difficulties of yes. handling everything alone. We came to the end of our video and we hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out as it will motivate us to work and post daily for our community. All right, guys, thank you for watching that video from Modern Dead in here. Now, if you made it this far, please be sure to show some love if you like my content, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, just to make sure you get my videos as soon as I release them. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Baby, you give me ice.